Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. It's here, baby, Royal Rumble weekend. A brand new Wrestling Insiders, Fabulous Fridays is next. The Royal Rumble is the second biggest event of 2021, and it's going to be even bigger during our Wrestling Insider pay-per-view watch-along is the former Raw main eventer himself, John Cena Sr., will be in studio live during the big event. We'll watch the Royal Rumble, take some questions, sign some autographs, and make this year's Royal Rumble as interactive as it can be without you being there in person. Get ready for John Cena Sr. live during the Royal Rumble, January 31st. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year of unknown with professional wrestling content galore, and we need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after we review the previous night's Monday Night Raw, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with the unpredictable WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights after WWE, NXT, and AEW at 10 p.m., you never know who's going to show up on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey Through the 80s and 90s on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday nights after the lights go down at the Thunderdome on SmackDown, it's John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. If you want early, ad-free access to all of our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and to help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021. Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. It's here, baby, Royal Rumble weekend. A brand new Wrestling Insiders, Fabulous Fridays is next. Hi, wrestling fans. Welcome to another Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Friday night. We thank you for joining us, no matter where you may be here in the United States when you are... Uh, countdown to be home may begin. By 10 o'clock, you may be forced to be in the house, so why not come out and hang out? We have some fun. We have some laps. We, we have, have some a shoot. insights. I don't You're always shoot. I always say what I say. My bro just... says you love to shoot. Alrighty, let's see. Monice just said goodbye. It's like a torpedo launcher, she said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she All she right, said, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny shooting is fabulous, baby. Wow. No vaccine needed. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking a vaccine. Is that for ED? Uh, we'll have to talk I don't to need Tony that. about no, that. No, I don't need We'll that. have All to right. talk to Tony about that. All right, wrestling fans, it certainly is one of the biggest weekends of the year. I remember I had so much fun last year. WWE was kind enough to have uh, me down as a guest in Houston for the Royal Rumble 2020. Um... At the they flew you down, gave no, you a hotel? No, are you kidding me? No, they gave me tickets. They didn't fly me down. Are you, oh, I wish. I was going to say. I, I almost choked for a second. Oh, all right. I, I would have. I would have taken them. I would have taken the tickets. No, no, the, the airline tickets, I mean. Oh, I. They don't I, like I, me that much. I haven't been invited to any of them, so you're better than me. Well, you'll have to come hang out. What, what is, I'm trying to think of the name of the field. Minute Maid Field in Houston, because mm. they had the Nolan Ryan statue right. in front of the. Um, right. The, the field and it was a nice field that's good um i enjoyed myself in houston i didn't i don't know where royal rumble was going to be this year but it, it's always a fun event to me i love big stadium shows uh and it's nice because we can always tape some interesting content when we're on the road but nonetheless johnny uh it's a the road to wrestlemania officially kicks off sunday night with the final bell uh some interesting matches set to take place as we tape this uh, we want to run through it. The fans wanted some input as Drew McIntyre defends the WWE Championship 
against one of your all-time favorites, Goldberg. And what else are we going to talk about? Do you see a new champion Sunday I, night in, in Tropicana Field under the Thunderdome? Okay, I'm going to, this is a long one, a real long one. Let's hear it, baby. Right? McIntyre loses. You think McIntyre loses like The Fiend did last year? I, you know what? And I said it before, I'll say it again. I think the world of Bill Goldberg, and I do. I truly, dearly do. He's got it. He's all there. But to put him out there, and I guess one of those things that was flashed back to me was, don't embarrass him. That's all I'm saying. Don't embarrass him. Let him wrestle. Let him show what he can do. Let him get out there, and let's see a wrestling match. I guess if anybody can make it look good, it'll be McIntyre. Um, but, and I thought The Fiend could have done the same thing. But let's see what happens. I'm going to take a long shot. I'm going to say that McIntyre drops the belt. And who do you think Goldberg loses it to? Roman Reigns. The, the two different brands, though. You, don't, you think they're going to really mix things up a little bit? I would. <clears throat> you need to do it. W I mean, uh, if you were, let's say, the booker, the head writer, mm. would you advocate for the Goldberg title change, or is this a prediction? You know what? Vince McMahon has always been the king of expect the unexpected. So every fan out there now is expecting Goldberg to lay down for Drew McIntyre. Even though he beat The Fiend last year in Saudi Arabia to win the Universal Championship and one of the worst decisions of 2020, coronavirus level bad. All I'm saying is this. <laughs> Vince McMahon is the king of expect the unexpected. Every fan you talk to, and I meet a lot in the street, they're expecting Drew McIntyre to polish the floor with Goldberg. Well, and I hate to say it, but certainly you could even include COVID in the angle, that McIntyre wasn't 100%. He's sick, not 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. It'd make the loss a little easier to digest than if he just took a, a clean one, two, three from Goldberg in the middle. Well, you know, and the other thing is uh, McIntyre has, has had some good feuds. Um, there have been some great uh, opportunities for young men and women uh, in, the, in the WWE, especially the men going against McIntyre. Um, I haven't seen too much of Braun Strowman. Um, I would think that if Goldberg lost, that would be a good match. Uh, Goldberg against Strowman. Well, they did that at WrestleMania last year, yeah, and well, it was that, not much to write on uh, about. No, and that's why I'm saying don't embarrass either person. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my thing is if you drop the belt, if, if McIntyre drops it, then my question becomes, I guess like you keep asking me, who do you think will take the belt from Goldberg? I, I have said it before, and I'll say it again. I do not think that Drew McIntyre's shoulders should lay down for three seconds on a professional wrestling mat until fans are allowed back in the venues so WWE officials can get that organic, instant, natural reaction. Not what fans say on social media. Not what fans say on television sets in the Thunderdome to get that real, instant fan reaction. That's how the, the quote-unquote old-timers used to gouge how over or not over someone was. I think Drew hasn't had a, a truly a fair chance yet to show whether he is or is not a guy they can build the company around. Well, Could he be a top guy? Could he be a top star in the company? Sure. Can he be the face of the company? That's certainly unknown. I happen. would say no at this point, but I think you have to give the guy the chance because they have very few options. He's a younger guy. He's got size. He's got that uh, accent going for him, a little James Bondish. Maybe that's not exactly what. what no, I no, 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 no. You're you're right on the money. He's got he's, something. He's different. got that Scotland, yeah, little Scottish yeah. accent in there, which I think uh, appeals to individuals. Um, but my question becomes: Okay, I think I really do. I think he's going to drop the belt um, because he's the king of the you know expect the unexpected. Um, otherwise, it's too predictable, and then you go. Here it is, just another friggin' show. I'd have him lose it back to McIntyre at WrestleMania. If, it, if, if that was the decision okay. they made, all right, all right, I'd say I'd build it up. Go right. now, Goldberg. Okay, you beat me once. I was still recovering at WrestleMania. I'm going to be 100 percent, and I'd do the rematch at Mania. And in the meantime, who does Goldberg defend against? Because 
How many matches? He only does two matches a year, though. So Excuse that's me. it. When is his contract up? Next year? Or the year no, after? No, he's got... At the end of... Tw he's got two matches in 2022. And that's it. And then that's it. That's it. All right. So my question becomes, how do you let this man... And this has always been a question. You let the man win. Drew McIntyre drops the belt. Um, now, he's only two matches in 2021, 20, right? So what's your second match? Who's going to defend the title? What was the big bitch with um, the beast, Brock Lesnar? Right. No title defenses. Right. You know, and, and I think the word you're looking for was not gouge, but gauge. The old timers wanted to gauge to see who was the best. I agree with you. Uh, if you want to do that, then you have to let McIntyre have the run. Well, I think if Goldberg wins, it's going to be an automatic loss for Goldberg unless they add more dates onto that contract. Because if he's only doing two matches a year... The next one is WrestleMania. I mean. And it, he's going it, to lose. Yep, it doesn't make sense. Or, you know what, if you wanted to talk about maybe expect the unexpected, you could have Goldberg drop it on the uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and do something different headed into WrestleMania. I like that. I like that. You never know. Good thought. You good never thought. know. No, that's a good thought. All right, that's well, my prediction. I still say... Billy Goldberg brings it for a man uh, of his age. I don't care what his age is. He's a badass-looking guy. I wouldn't want to take I wouldn't want to mess with him. No. I'll tell you right now. I oh. met him in person. You don't want to mess with Goldberg. Oh, what about this one, though, Johnny? For the WWE Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns defends against Adam Pearce. Look. <laughs> Here we go again. Predictability. You don't expect the tribal chief to lose, do you? No, not no. to Adam Pearce. And I got to tell you something. I love Roman Reigns' look. I love it. Why the hell did you wait so long? Why? It's got to be Roman Reigns all the way. Let me tell you something. I, you know what my thoughts were on Reigns before, right? I'm behind this guy 100%. I love the little faction with oh. Roman and Uso and Paul Heyman. Oh. Uh, I, I think, I, you know, I hate quote-unquote sports entertainment, but I think the way they made Adam Pearce the number one contender was amusing. Yep. That was a way, that's how you play up something like that. And, yep. Um, and you, you couldn't do it seriously. But I, good for Adam Pearce for a guy that never really had a match on WWE television. Now he's going to be in one of the championship matches at the Royal Rumble. He's going to get killed. He's going to get killed. You know but, that. He's but for get... him, no matter, at the end of the day, he did it. The check's just the like, same, isn't it? Just like you when you main evented Monday Night Raw. And 425,000 more people turned in, tuned in I to watch me get say, my ass kicked. I thought you were going to say you got paid 425 grand. <laughs> He's got enough again. Uh, I don't think so. Johnny, predictions. Who is going to walk away the victor of the women's Royal Rumble? Do you have a prediction for that? It's a little more of a challenge where you have... Sometimes not two, but even three brands challenging for that. Because it's pretty much the same 30 women every year. They have to pull some legends out of the bag. and the <laughs> It's tough to fill those 30 slots. I'm glad you said slots. You know, Molly... Ho you said slots, which was good. Molly Holly's probably going to get one of them in some incarnation of some gimmick that she did in the past. I think the world of that young lady, you know. I really you, do. You helped train her. Outside of wrestling, did I you not? I don't know about that. Um, well, you had some, some assistance to her in a, in a vocation outside of wrestling. She is just, she wanted to get into uh, assessing. Um, but she is, in my opinion, a very, very kind, awesome human being. Um, I remember at WrestleCon, she, she came, came up came and over gave you a big and, hug. And, and took a picture. Yep. They uh, all want the hugs from Johnny. She is just a wonderful, wonderful human being. Um, will she walk away champion? No. Ain't going to happen. It's a one-time shot if she gets a slot in there. You know, that's going to be a tough one to call. You don't have a prediction. I don't. I don't because there's so many good people that are going to be in there. Stratus is coming back. She is. I, oh, I didn't she, know that. I, I heard rumblings that she may be back. Certainly if she comes back, I'd give the belt to her at a drop of a hat. Give her maybe a Goldberg-type run with the title? Yeah, the and, and I think that would be a good run with the title. Because now, even Lita, you know, I think Amy Dumas. You know, I'm not saying that you really want to get that high. And you notice I didn't, re when we, the last couple of shows, we talked about Lita coming back, Amy Dumas. I think Amy's a wonderful person, wonderful. I think 
but yeah, not, not, not what we need not right from now. From a human point of view, but I think as far as the, the wrestling presentation, if she were to try and come back for a run like that, I think no. she'd need to run through the, uh, the recycling bin first. But Wow. <laughs> wow. Whoa. All I'm saying is when they invite you on the show, Amy, it's your chance. <laughs> it's your chance. Um, no, and it's you know. nothing against her personally. It's just she has the last few times they've used her physically. And it, it is, it's a physical business. She, yeah, she can't do it. No. She hasn't presented well. She can't do that. Trish um, always looks fantastic. Mickey James will be there, I'm sure. I know you love Mickey. Uh, well, no, but, you know, I look at the human side. I also look at the wrestling side. Um, you know, who else can we pick? There's just, just going to be 30 women in that ring. Try to, try to be the writer that says. What about Sasha? Oh, she's already the champion, so no, she couldn't be her. I'm trying to. Isn't it crazy that the business has evolved? It's where unfortunate it is now, that, that it's I can't even remember who the champions are off the top of my head. It's unfortunate that that um, this thing with Sports Illustrated occurred. But as I said, you know, it's unfortunate. It's the Royal Rumble. It should be an open challenge by Sasha Banks when she wins the Royal Rumble. Open. Bailey runs in, accepts the challenge, pins her. One, two, three. Wow, we get a title exchange. Now we got some storylines coming up here, but what, you know what? What about one of the NXT ladies? Wouldn't that be interesting to pretend? You know, to, to, but I'll say this: whether you like or dislike it, it would be a way to get someone new over instantly. They'd be over instantly winning the Rumble. You don't think so? You know, you talked about the older guys and ladies in this business. The one thing I missed was when they started bringing up NXT, putting them over on the upper stars you haven't even paid your dues yet and you're already you're already elevated to superhero status that that didn't sit well with a lot of the older people in the business me for one you know what go out there you know i say to people you want to put me up against randy orton nxt john cena senior you know what thank you for letting me have the rub that alone says a lot just and and, and for some reason Professional wrestling fans don't understand what that rub is. You know, the fact that you were even in the ring with Austin or The Rock or, or Paul Levesque, Triple H, or John Cena Jr., the fact that you were in that ring is enough to say that you were good enough to step through the ropes. It's like John Cena, Kurt Angle. He was, yeah, when that angle kicked off. Yeah. Well, at some point you have to try and elevate these NXT women. What a better way to do so than to... I mean, imagine a, a Royal Rumble victor that is a relative unknown to the masses. Okay, so... I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so maybe I'll go along with it to a point. Let's put maybe two NXT and two veterans in there, whatever, and let's keep them guessing. It looks like it could be. Will it be? Oh, my God, no. When Daniel Bryan won the title at WrestleMania. Okay. Uh -huh. The miracle on Bourbon Street. Oh, oh please. That was just, yeah, I mean, you know, a little much. I, you know, I think the word to Daniel Bryan, no question about it. I'll stand up for that guy it's any day a, of the it's week. It's not a personal comment. It's just one of the physical presentation. He got the shit kicked out of him, put it bluntly. He went out in a stretcher, all wrapped up, but I'm coming back <laughs> to beat you. Oh, please. And then he started playing ping pong for Kane afterwards. But uh, speaking of Rub, maybe two veterans that could be included in the Women's Royal Rumble that... When they saw you at WrestleCon, wanted to give you a rub. Uh, Hall of Famers, Jackie Moore and, <laughs> and Ivory. I, again, <laughs> I have what you don't respect. Ivory, tremendous. I'm not saying you did it. I'm just saying they were giving you the eyes. I, I don't know. Where do you see this? <laughs> I, I get all these, this entourage of women. I have people on my yachts, my planes, my cars. I, I, Which I one get is it. that? That's when we were in Orlando with uh, Shelton thank, and Zeb Coulter. Yeah, thank God for Moniz because you know what, folks? I go to dinner a lot alone. So any fans out there want to take me to dinner, uh, you know. Forget about the fans. It's the women in the industry. Okay, I'm with the emails. Auntie Bella. <laughs> See? 
I get serious, he gets comical, and that's what makes it such a great show. Hey, we, do, we have a lot of laughs. We have a, we lot, have of a lot of fun, yeah. and I'm open to that. One I thing really. the fans on Patreon have asked about, Johnny, is some of the behind-the-scenes shenanigans. We talked to uh, Cecil the Lion right now, who's busy setting up land parties this winter, but uh, we'd like to give the fans, if you think we have fun when the cameras are rolling, you should see what happens sometimes when they're off. The, really? The, with us. Crazy women in here and everything? Well, I don't know about that. Oh, but well, I'm not behind interested. the scenes. All right. Behind right. the scenes? Well, I'm not Cecil, talking Pat Patterson. One of the finest human beings in the world. Always there to help. Always there to be there. I mean... You know I have a lot of respect for I, the Hall Oh, I understand Pat where your Patterson. joke's coming from, but... You didn't no. find it funny, that's all. No. No, you didn't find it funny at all. Well, that's all right. Any more I, than well, Cecil having parties over septic systems. I don't... No, land parties. Well, I don't know what those are. <laughs> L-A-N or L-A-N-D? L-A-N. All capitals. Mm, I'm not going there. It <laughs> no, that's not a good thing to say. What, LAN? Why is it a bad thing to say? Well, explain what that party is. It's, uh, I guess, like a 90s version of before the Internet really existed, the way people would play video games together. They'd hook their computers up. <laughs> So anyway, let's go and back to the Royal Rumble. instead of what you'd call a circle jerk, you'd have a circle game. I... <laughs> so now let's go back to the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble! Now what do you get for the men, Johnny? Oh. It may be this guy, since we're on the Senate camera. Do you think maybe the Fiend could walk away with the Rumble? Anybody's guess. Think of the interesting entrance he could have, the way he I, I manipulates to, the Thunderdome. I still have to tell you this. Um, when I first met... That young man, as um, his first character, uh, I said to him in, in catering, we were coming out of catering, and I said, you know, I just have to say this to you. You probably have the most interesting, best character right now next to The Undertaker in WWE. And I really meant it from my heart. Um, not that I'm a talent agent, that I can see all this magic. He still has it. And I, I only hope he comes out the winner. There's so many storylines to come out of the Rumble if they play it right. That could go on to WrestleMania and be draw matches with question marks. Is he going to win? Is he not going to win? You know, it, it, I, I like him. Well, I, I'll pick him. The funny thing is, Johnny, there's still so much unknown about the big event. Usually by uh, September or October, I'll have, through the grapevine from friends, know several of the top matches for Mania coming up. And I, I have no idea what they have planned this year in my own. Uh, educated opinion, I'm thinking maybe they have a lineup for fans in the venue and a lineup if they have to do it at the Thunderdome again without fans, I don't know. Um, but it, it, whatever they've done, they've kept quiet, and I guess that's a good thing. I just hope Vince understands, and I'm sure he does, and he's a great businessman, a great, great, great guy, Stephanie, Triple H, the whole bunch. You know what? It doesn't have to be April, Vince. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, arenas are domed now. They have central air involved in there. You know what? If you've got to push it off till August, do it. Make it a... Because one of the things we lose at the greatest show in the world, what makes it great is not only the wrestlers, it's you the guys. fans. You guys at yeah, all. Yeah, without you, it's nothing. It's the same thing on the indie circuit. I walk out there as John Cena Sr., Johnny Fabulous. If you don't have that reaction, it's kind of hard to make it work to make it all come to fruition. No matter how hard you do it, a lot of fans will sit there and, and, and look at it on TV. Wow, did you see that? That was a, a planned move. Look at that. That's a wrestling move, yep, that they teach him in school. It's all gone. The mystique, the magic, it's gone. Do you think maybe if Bray Wyatt is not the victor of the Royal Rumble, perhaps we could see The Fiend taking on after what happened on Raw this past week as we're taping this episode, uh, the man whose sledgehammer he lit on fire, <laughs> Triple H. It'd be a first-time match. I think the fans would have a real interest in it, as long as the right guy wins. You know, I, I, what do I say? I have a lot of respect for Triple H, the best, trained by Kowalski, outstanding athlete. A scene has been with him. Uh, you know, Daniel Bryan, he puts on a hell of a show. Him and, him he throws and, one of the best right-handed punches in the history of the business. I love his rights. Oh, wow. I remember hitting Daniel Bryan once, and I went back, and CM Punk held him while I hit him. And I, I said, in Lowell. Yeah, I said, um, boom, I went back, and I said, geez, I hope I wasn't too stiff. 
and, and I remember a Triple H saying to me, no stiffer than your sons. <laughs> so um, I guess that says a lot. Uh, but uh, I would love to see The Fiend come out of this uh, and then face Paul Levesque, Triple H. I think there's a great storyline there. I really think that it could get real creepy with Stephanie, the kids, the grandparents. It could get really Linda. scary. Oh, Linda McMahon, it could get <laughs> really scary. I mean, look, I had a lot of fun with what I did with me and Randy Orton and yeah. Edge. And I think that the writers, if they really want to make it eerie and, and you know, boom, I, I think you get three or four storylines that could really stretch this thing out uh, and be meaningful. Whether they're going to choose to do that or not, I don't know. My money's on The Fiend. Well, I know when they have fans, they do want to have a, a gigantic blow-off, uh, I don't know, if Texas death match, a last man standing type match between uh, Edge and Randy Orton to play off of Orton, uh, causing the injury that put Edge out of action for the, the better part of the year. Hopefully uh, that can take place. But I think Triple H and uh, Fiend would be very interesting. What, what do you think about how all of a sudden how Alexa Bliss has become possessed? shooting fireballs at Randy Orton as if she was the original Sheik, Eddie Fahar, at Cobo Hall in Detroit with Bobo Brazil back in the 60s. It was Jerry Lewis's thing? <laughs> Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! You know what? Do you like possessed Alexa Bliss? Oh, I don't know why she's dressing and talking too late, too soon. like a six-year-old all of a sudden. Too soon, too late. Because she's Sister Abigail. She's Abigail. But she's that not Abigail. But she... Re Look at the movie Abigail, that little doll. There's a movie? Oh, that's Annabelle. Annabelle. Look at that movie and look at the character. There is definitely a correlation. I don't like it. Um, well, and I think it's, you know, too much, too, too late, too soon. I think it makes him too hokey, and I don't it, think he well, should be presented Well, you don't need it. He doesn't need hokey. it. You know what I'd like to see? What would you like to see? The battle for the urn and the hammer. The battle for the urn, which has that magical, fiendish power for the hammer. What hammer? The sledgehammer, Triple you H. You want to see Triple H against The Undertaker? No, no against oh. this man <laughs> who somehow has inherited the urn. Well, you think he's going to inherit the urn? Oh, please, there's a lot of shit you could do with this. Uh, you know, if people think I'm too far out there, I told you before and I'll tell you again, everybody hated me, including my son. The guy to beat Taker would have been Wyatt. Would have see, been spooky over great. What do in, I know? In this incarnation is Fiend. I agree with you. When he was Waylon Mercy type Bray Wyatt, I liked him, but it was too overexposed. It okay. was on TV 52 weeks a year, All right. and I think that took away some of the... I don't think he was even as eerie as Luke Harper and uh, Rowan under the mask, to be honest so with you. So maybe Kane comes back with the urn or whatever. Kane's not finished. Well, that's finished. true. Yeah, Kane's not done He's yet. He's not done yet. He'll come I, back for that payday, I think there's baby. A, I think there's a lot to be done here. There's a lot to be done. Um, you know, and forget Paul, forget the, the hammer. Maybe it's Cain that possesses the ashes now, that possesses the magic within the urn, whatever that magic was. Maybe Abigail is the one to use that to continue to fuel the fiend. Who knows? There's so much WWE is missing here. They're not reading between the lines. They're not looking at what the possibilities are. Only remains to be seen. Well, after Randy Orton broke some of the puppets in the Firefly Funhouse, I'm sure their vendetta is far from over, too. Yes, we can say that Randy Orton busted a lot of wood. Uh, well, get that? Wood, ED, you got it. Well, we'll have to talk to Tony about that. Okay. But, fans, if you're watching on Friday night after SmackDown in the premiere, what matches would you like to see at WrestleMania this year? It's a unique year. Uh, the location has not been revealed yet. I was told it is definitely not in Los Angeles, which makes me think it's going to be somewhere in Florida. When? I Tampa. don't know. I guess it's going to be Tampa. But the problem is they'd have to go to the football field because by April, the baseball stadium would be needed by the Rays. Yeah, but they don't play every night at that at that. But you stadium. know how long it takes to set up WrestleMania set. They'd need weeks for that venue. Um, they, I think they'd have to go to Raymond James at the NFL stadium in Tampa. Okay, whatever. But you know what? I've seen the WWE crew at work. And they work. And when, you, when I tell you to dream the impossible dream, these gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> they don't get enough credit. They're like Disney. Oh, they don't get enough credit. I'm You're telling right. you right now. They say, this is what I want it to be. And I'll tell you what. He puts it on paper. Somebody makes a model, and these men and women 
create the reality. Give them a pat on the back, the special effects, the, the things you see. The athletes Rusev can't do on it a without tank. them. Yep. Oh, my God. And they can do it in a week. But give these people the credit they deserve. Just I'm like just the, saying, from, a, from the point of view of time, I don't think they'd have the time they'd need at the baseball field in order to do it if it's in the middle of the baseball season. You know what? There's always room for anything. Uh, this talks. Uh, so there's always well, room. Well, you never know. Maybe the baseball season could start late again. Or maybe you write a little bit of the baseball into WrestleMania. Who knows what could happen down the road. All right. Well, it is going to be an interesting spring, fans. Nonetheless, again, we ask you, what would you like to see happen at WrestleMania? What do you think is going to happen this Sunday night at the Royal Rumble? We want some predictions in writing in the premiere chat or in the comment section below. Again, fans, don't forget, if you want to keep the lights on, if you want the superstars like John Cena Sr., Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, Marty Jannetty, our rotating Wednesday guests like the Nasty Boys, Leo Rush, The Warlord, Tatanka, Savio Vega, so many more that want to come and join us live and in person, like Jake the Snake Roberts oh. is one of many that we had planning on coming with us later in 2020. I'd be here for that one. 80s Fan Fest got pushed off. Unfortunately, Road Warrior Animal wanted to be with us and try and test the waters out as a semi-regular co-host. The limitations are impossible. If you guys help the cause, head on over to patreon.com for early ad-free access to every Wrestling Insider episode along with access to the Studio Shoot Interview DVD library. And again, more important, now 10 months into this pandemic, you're helping keep professional wrestling legends working. Not the ones that are under contract to WWE and AEW that get the contract every, uh, that get the check in the mail every other week, no matter what. We're talking about the guys that rely on the independent shows that aren't happening, the autograph signings that aren't happening, that truly need the support to live. They gave their bodies, sometimes they gave up their families in order to try and give you great experiences on television and at live yeah. arenas. Here's a chance for us to use this humble little TV studio, no pun intended, Cheek, but to use this humble little TV studio to try and give back. Trying to help the legends is something, Johnny. I know you know how sarcastic I can be, but I think you know that is one thing that's always been very important to me. The legends deserve it. They Those do. Those people that paid their dues and are now no longer part of the big picture, but the indie circuits and make appearances here and there, can't tell you how important it is to them. I've been with them, I've watched them, I've worked with them. So fans, reach out. You're 100% Dan. For, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, patreon.com backslash... Get donuts, you cheap. Patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Don't forget, forget about what the quarantine rules may be in your state. The eBay store is open 24-7, baby. The link is in the description box below. We also have a great WWE t-shirt fundraiser going on. The links can be found there. Again, you are helping keep professional wrestling legends working. WWE is doing great for itself, even during a pandemic. The money they get just from their United States television contracts from USA and Fox Television is enough to keep them smiling for many, many years to come. For these legends that come to the studio, they're facing some very, very, very tough times, and it's very important to me. The Super Chat button is open if you enjoyed tonight's show. Don't forget to tip the bartender, and as always, do the little things. There are things that you can do that cost nothing. We know times are tough in 2021, Johnny. No, I mean, there's people going without a check, not just pro wrestlers, but if you give us a thumbs up, that costs nothing. If you share the link to the shows on your social media, that costs absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get alerts when the new shows come out, it costs nothing, and it helps us grow. The more people that YouTube sees watching the shows, the more YouTube is going to share it to new fans. The more new fans we get, the more people we have involved in the process so we can bring you more guests, more talk shows, more cyber autograph signings. See, do, do you see how the meal is? We're preparing the meal, Johnny? Hey, listen, by the way, I'm going to start a YouTube show for myself. What are you going to do? Cooking with John Cena Sr. When are we going to start taping it? Uh, I hope to start in the, another couple of weeks. Now, who's going to be taping it? Um, Am, are we coming up with the camera crew? You're welcome to do that, but... Well, uh, I mean, if you want to. Whatever you, I'm thinking of doing that show. I've had a lot of requests. I do a lot of cooking. They want to know if I can do stuff with diets and show how to do The Julia Childs cook. of a Boston uh, Wrestling Sports. We'll bring John Cena in there. Senior. We always argue when we cook. It'll be oh, kind of a fun be show. Fun. It'll be a fun show. Um, I might I'd even be able to send to you a clip. I'll, I'll send you a clip. 
I think that would be a lot of fun. Hang on, I'm looking for a lot of likes on that. And I'm even thinking of opening up a donut shop in, um, in Maine, in Kenny Bunkport. I'm looking for a little spot up there. It'd be the best little donut shop in Maine. We'll do unique donuts. Um, I can't tell you what I'm thinking of, but... Um, I think you should put a donut with the hand in front of it. No, you might. can't eat me. <laughs> wow. Woof. Hey, I'm oh. trying to come up with ideas. Hey, no, I... I, Diane's you don't like donut you shop. can't eat me. Diane's right. Donut Shop and uh, over there. And, uh, Diane's Donut Shop? Yeah, Who's they, Diane? Uh, they have a great little donut selection there. Oh, oh, this, this has nothing to do with you. No, if I open my shop, I, I'll use their product. And oh, you're going to buy Diane's Donut? And then I'll come up with a few ideas, like a lobster roll donut. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I got all these things to my head. I like the idea you can't eat me. I think that would... <laughs> In the best little donut shop in Maine. You could have to. Yeah, the best little whorehouse in Texas with a donut that says, you can't eat me. <laughs> all right. You could have Tony and they're all 69 cents. Right here. You Curtis. could have Tony come down for the grand opening. Think of <laughs> I, I would I'd be honored to have Mr. Think of how Atlas. many free donuts Tony would eat and then how many he'd try and take home. And then as he's signing the autographs, the donut residue it would look like the back end of a snowblower with the donut residue coming out of the side of his mouth. So fans, please support us, support the legends. Don't listen to him. I'm drinking Dunkin' Donuts, not Starbucks. I don't know what they put in my coffee. Uh, I... We had a lot of fun though, wrestling fans. We do. Hopefully we're going to be doing a live watch along for the Royal Rumble Sunday night on WWE Network. Join us for some laughs, some funs, and some friendship. Until we speak again, folks, we'll be back next week to talk post-Royal Rumble as the road to WrestleMania begins on another fabulous Friday night. Be well. You know, like you can't eat me? The World Wrestling Federation was live at Winnipeg Arena in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Wednesday, January the 29th, 1992. In the opening contest, Tatanka beat Skinner. The Berserker with the win over Jim Brunzel. WWF Tag Team Champion Road Warrior Animal defeated Earthquake. This was changed from a tag team title match due to Hawk's drug test failure. The Beverly Brothers victorious over the new foundation via disqualification. El Matador drew IRS. The Big Boss Man beat Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. And in the main event, WWF Intercontinental Champion Rowdy Roddy Piper defeated WWF World Champion Nature Boy Ric Flair via countout. If you were in Winnipeg Live, share your memories in the comments section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our acclaimed Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports in the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.